Day 31 with a little bit of steel. So, first of all, we're going to start with Isil Mariel's Lauder Weapons Collection for SSE. Go ahead and download it. Next one is Isil Mariel's Lauder Weapon Collection patch for SSE. This fixes an issue with the plugin and with one of the uh, init files in the BSA. And the next one is coal and steel. This adds a piece of coal so that you can make some steel. And finally, El Sopa HD Steel Plate Armors SE. I'm going with a 2K. So here we are with MO2. Install Lauder. Find the patch, right, and go ahead and install it. Select Manual. Open Core, right click on data and set data directory. Then install colon steel and Elsopa HD. Enable the four mods on the left. For Cortex users, go ahead and refresh your downloads. Now let's go ahead and install with Cortex. You can go ahead and install the Lauder Collection patch. Simple enough. The rest you're going to need to open file location. Select the three patches you didn't extract and extract to star slash. Back in your mod manager, new mod from folder each one of these. So, you still Mariel's Lauder collection. Select folder and hit OK. Add. Go ahead and open the mod files location of the patch and go into the second data folder. Move the ESP and BSA up a folder and delete the duplicate data folder so that it is at data slash the ESP BSA instead of data slash data slash. Go into Isil Mario's Lauder collection, create a data folder, and move the plugin and BSAs into that data folder. Open colon steel. Go ahead and rename the folder to data. Open El Sopa HD. Data. And move it in. Enable the four on the left. Move the patch below the Lauder collection. Go to plugins, refresh the left pane, and enable colon seal and ESL narsil on the right. Now for Vortex users, go ahead and hit install all, finish, and enable all. Go ahead and set the full patch to load after ESL Muriel's Lauder collection, and hit deploy again. As per usual, we will go ahead and check and make sure that these mods are clean. So go ahead and clean Ilsil Narsil, and it will get rid of a single ITM. Now, one thing that I remember having to, a problem with with Ilsil Narsil is it was made with Test5 SNP, which is a very old program that produces aired plugins. So let's go ahead and check for errors. It would appear that Ilsil Narsil has been updated to no longer contain those errors. So it's been a while. Now let's go ahead and run the same thing on coal and steel. And again, check for errors. And we have no errors. So now, go ahead and sort. So now, go ahead and click sort. If you use in Vortex, just hit sort now and hit apply. Close. And let's see what VQSC tells us. VQSC tells us that colon steel is going to have some conflicts. So go ahead and close. Disable all. Yes. Enable USEP. Enable colon seal. And run VQSC again.
Alright, so as it turns out, this is the only conflict. So let's go ahead and copy as override USEP. And put it in here. Just like that. I'm actually going to leave the name as it is. So let's add masters. Select all. OK. Select all plugins. Create a mod group. And there we go. Close. OK. So checking one thing real quick with Esil Narsil. It will not contain leveled lists. As you can see, no level list. Unfortunately, instead what it does is it contains a container edit. This is an edit to Merchant Whiterun chest. So this adds it just to the chest and you get it. That's it. This is something that I don't like when mods do. So what I'm instead going to do is I'm going to remove this record. Yes. And now we're going to go ahead and install a tool. Skyrim Automated Leveled List Edition. Here it is by Gorgoth. So download this. It's a manual download only. And download it to your tools folder. Show in folder. Extract it. Open it up and copy the two included pass files. Go to where you have Xedit installed and edit strips and paste. So let's go ahead and select USEP. Go ahead and find ESIL NARSIL and select it. Hit OK. Once it's done loading, Apply script. It should be in here. Go ahead and search for automated. And you should only have this in the drop down. Hit OK. Enable generate enchanted versions and disable generate crafting recipes. Go ahead and click output plugin. Set it to ESIL LVLI. Dot .esp. Put that in all three files. And yes. In bulk, select esilnarsil.esp and add plugin and click add plugin. And hit OK. Go ahead and open the plugin and select the three groups that are empty. Armor, keyboard, and outfit. Delete them. We are sure. Go ahead and open in weapons and sort by editor ID. Scroll through until you find Esil Sauron Mace UNENC. Go ahead and select all of the records that have that and hit delete on your keyboard. Go ahead and right click on Esil level list and check for errors. You will notice there's a lot because of what we did. Go ahead and scroll up a little bit and find this right here. Control double click it. Go ahead and select this, type control C, right click on the left, and remove. Yes. Right click again and check for errors. And you'll find a few more. In each one, paste that that you just copied. and check for errors again. You should have zero. If you don't, go ahead and do what we just did because you might have just missed one of these right here. Now go ahead and close and save. Enable the plugin on the right. And now we have Esil Narsil fully patched to have level lists. 
This is going to create a little bit of an issue though, because now these leveled lists will collect. So first of all, run loot to put it in the right spot. Now let's go ahead and sort and apply, and it sorts itself nicely. Go ahead and run VQSC again, and you'll notice a conflict with lore weapon expansion. So let's go ahead and close. Disable all. Yes. Let's go ahead and enable unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. And just to be sure, enable ESIL leveled list and run VQSE again. So now, here we are. This issue right here. Right click on USEP and copy as override. We are sure. Put in a patch. ESIL USEP. Add all as master except for the level lists. And sort the masters. Close. Save. Enable the ESL USEP patch. Go ahead and run loot again. Sort and apply. Go ahead and open. And make sure to add ESL level item as Make sure to add ESL USEP as master to ESL level item. Close and save. Now let's go ahead and get through the lore weapon expansion. Don't forget to enable LWE USEP. And here we are. Select them all in the ESL leveled item version and copy as override into a new ESPFE. And whatever LWE adds, we're going to move over. In this instance, LWE has more edits, so let's go ahead and move that over and then move the version from ESL over. Go ahead and add as masters all of these and sort the masters. Close and save. Enable all plugins again. And let's run VQSC to be sure. And be sure to move Excited Output below if you use MO2. If you use Cortex, get those files out of Overwrites folder and into a proper mod that you can manage. And if you use Vortex, make sure those files are not in data because you don't want the game to try loading them and then crash whenever you disable the masters.